Hi! In this video we will see how to create this deer head using Rhino in Boss. As you can see I have previously created all these curves, so as you can see this is uh, the outside curve, it's a closed curve. Also in here we have a closed curve, the same in here, so all the curves were previously defined. And now I'm going to start with the embossed icon. First, I'm going to define the project settings. In this case, let me define core. So I want to delete base, cap distance 0.5 millimeters, resolution, and of course, uh, working area dimensions. It seems perfect for these curves. So I just need to check. And as you can see in this side panel, we will have the Rhino emboss ready to use. So the first step is add a new operation and then I will define operation type by profile. So to use this operation I need to select the curve, the, f the curve I'm going to select this outside curve and then I just need to adjust the profile and refresh to check the results. OK, as you can see, the profile was successfully created. Of course, we can adjust the profile, refresh again to adjust any detail. OK, and now I'm going to add a new operation. And this operation will be also operation by profile. and I select the curve, this curve, and this curve. So now I can hide the previous combo, I can hide the relief results just to adjust this profile. I can adjust something like this and under the operation settings I can define style. In this case I want to add. OK, so I just need to show results and refresh again. As you can see the operation was successful added to the previous one and now I'm going to hide the gumball and I'm going to use one more operation this time operation type I'm going to define smooth so when it's smooth operation, as you can see I have this circle where I can smooth the results as you can see easily. Of course we can change the operation settings, we can increase the smooth level, we can change the circle diameter and now as you can see the smooth level it's more aggressive but of course in the end we can go back to the level one and adjust the final details okay so now I'm going to change again to level one smooth again okay as you can see it's really easy and of course in this part the same smooth smooth all this area as you can see it's really really easy and I'm going to do the same in the rest of the model so I'm going just to adjust all the model smooth all the model Okay. And in the end I just need to turn off the smooth operation and now once again add a new operation, operation type by profile and the curves I'm going to select. This curve, this one, these two and also this one. So press enter 
Remember, I can hide the results to adjust the gumball, but in this case, I'm going to adjust the gumball. In operation settings style, I'm going to define subtract. So now, when I refresh, first show the results and refresh, it's calculating the relief. Okay, as you can see, the operation was successful added. And now one more operation. Once again, operation type by profile. And the curves, I'm going to select the eyes, enter, and adjust the gumball. Something like this. Refresh. So as you can see, the operation was successful created, and finally, I can hide the gumballs. Remember, if I press shift, I hide all the gumballs. And last operation, I'm going to define smooth operation, and once again, going to smooth some areas, like this one, here as well and a little bit in here okay this is the result I was looking for and now I can turn off the smooth operation and the result is ready the relief is done I just need to check in here to add the results to the document okay before, as you can see, automatically it will open the decimator tool and this tool allows us to reduce the mesh resolution. So, in this case, I can see the number of faces and the number of vertices in this mesh and I can reduce, let's try, 70%. Okay, as you can see, we reduce a little bit and the quality stays very very good we can reduce a little bit more 50 percent and seems a good a good resolution okay so i just need to check to add the changes to the document okay the mesh was successful created i will change the display mode to render and as you can see in the bottom as we define the core option we have a flat bottom with the distance we define it in here 0.5 millimeters and this is the result I hope you like it thanks for watching